I think there's a part of, of it that's definitely true uh, in terms of, I think they had quality. They were intense. Um, they had a lot of pressure. They wanted to go. Um, I don't think I will ever want to be another team in terms of how they play. I think we have different quality. We have different players as well. So I think it's about our identity and making sure that we play in a way that we want to play. But I think obviously if you just look at what they did in the first half and definitely lost 20 minutes, just being able one to bring on players, top quality players that were just able to pick up a role and immediately press. Um, I think that was just impressive. Um, I think that's also what we knew that was going to happen in a way. Um, I think the first half we lack quality and intensity. Second half um, you lack quality, you have more intensity, but in the end you miss freshness. I think that's what you pay cash in the end. Uh, we scored at 2-1 and I think that's okay. That's a good goal. I think overall the second half, the first 25 minutes we were okay. Uh, we changed a bit, went to a back five, being able to press a bit higher again, uh, which was important to us. But then you just see at the end of the game that you're missing a lot of freshness and you give away goals of which I think and I hope we will never see them again in general. Um, and kind of on that, on that note of things maybe you don't want to see again, as you enter the off season now, uh, where does your focus go as far as priorities and, and what you hope um, to improve upon for 2025? Fresh and healthy players. Um, I think that was what we were lacking today as well, just in general. I think we made a subs that we were able to do from a medical freshness point of view. Um, so it obviously it becomes hard. Uh, but I think just in general, if we look at what we can do better next season is just stick to our identity and make sure that we play um, the way that we're doing on practice. And obviously playing against Gotham, playing against Orlando are good teams to play against, but you have nothing to lose. So just, you just have to show up. And I think that's what we didn't do in the first half today. Uh, but what we did in the second half, a bit more obviously in the second half, you're 50 percent down on freshness, 50 percent down on, on, on just intensity in general. So. I just hope that we entered the game in the same way that we entered the second half. And I'm not saying we would have got a different result, um, but at least we would have got a better game. And that's what we want to give this, uh, to this audience and, and fans in general. Yeah. Jimmy, enhorabuena primero por el nombramiento que no había tenido tiempo de, de dártelo. Muy merecido. Oh, congrats on being head coach. He Thank you. congratulate you. Thank you. Y la segunda, dos preguntas muy rápidas. Eh, ¿Qué mm, tienes preparado para las chicas para esta larga pretemporada? ¿Qué tienen que hacer ellas? What do, how do you want to prepare the girls for next season, for the longer season? Um, I think, first of all, mental, physical rest. Um, I think they've been through quite a lot um, this season. And obviously, we can keep on talking about resilience and being resilient, but there is also just a limit to what a what a person, what an athlete is capable of. And I think we've hit a few of our limits today, just in general. So I think it's a healthy thing to say that we just need a good off season, off season filled with family, with vacation, with friends, just being able to to reset fully. Because I do know, um, and I think that was the funny thing of this game as well, after the game, a few of, of, of the players coming to me and actually trying to get me in a better mood instead of me go going towards them. And they were just saying, hey, next season, we're going to be top 100%. Ali Sandno was one of them. Kedel Fava walks up to me. And they were quite confident on, hey, just forget this one. Next season will be better. And in a lot of occasions or situations, is the coach getting towards the players. Um, this time it was the players. So I think there is a big belief. There is a big thing growing in this group. It's just making sure that everyone gets the time off that they need. And then um, I'm, I'm quite convinced that we'll have a fun season next season. Y la última, ¿qué le vas a pedir a Papá Noel para el próximo año? Tu equipo sea tan bueno como Gotham, por ejemplo. Who, what are you going to ask for Santa for your team next year? Well, uh, I have a list of players. Um, <laughs> no, no, I think, I think, like I said, I think we've been in a tough corner the last few weeks. Uh, I think everyone sees our um, availability report. So my biggest wish is everyone want to be happy and to just to be healthy. Um, I think that's the biggest thing you can wish to someone. Obviously, I've been in situations myself, so health is the most important part for an athlete, for a person. And when we talk about health, it's about mental health, it's about physical health, and making sure everyone walks into the building just fresh and ready. And I think that's the biggest thing we can ask for every player in our building and every staff member that everyone is ready for next season, because next season is going to be a very good one. La última, perdón. Um, cuando te renovaron, ¿te han exigido algún... Uh, um, Digamos, alguna meta para el próximo año? Uh, when you were named head coach, did they give you a goal for you to meet for the next year? Sorry, go again? Uh, when they made you a head coach, did they give you a goal for you to meet for next year? 
Um, I think if we're honest, we need to reach the playoffs next season. I think that's as simple as it gets. And everyone knows and everyone saw last year with, with Gotham what playoffs can do. Um, so I think it's our biggest goal next season to one, be competitive from the start on. Um, I think looking at the last few games, we were uh, very competitive. So let's let's make sure that from the first day on we're competitive. And then the personal goal as well is if you look at the progress that some of the goals made this season over a whole season, um, looking at Manny, looking at K. Del Fava, looking at a few players, Ana Tejado has got called up and even got 15 minutes. I think that's our second goal, just making sure that we have a very strong environment for every athlete to become better. Um, I think that's the biggest wish that we can have. And that's what we have to do as a staff, just making sure that there is a, a very good environment for every player to develop. Um, we have a few very young, exciting players with Brecken, with Ali. They have to become better uh, and we are responsible for that. So I think besides uh, the on-pitch table uh, goal, I think there is also just a, a very big goal that lies within the training facility on a daily basis and making sure players are progressing off and on the pitch. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anybody else? Uh, how how is for a head coach have these situations like all these players injured? How do you prepare the game for today, knowing the all the players that you don't have available? It's uh, my biggest loss, I think, as a as a head coach ever. Um, so I think it's special to me as well. Uh, but obviously, I think the players on the pitch today they gave everything they had. Uh, just just as simple as that. Um, and I know I've been referring a lot to her, but if you look at what Bedford was able to do, Bedford would just keep on chasing. And although technically sometimes we're not 100% right, we're not 100% good, but if you have three or four players that want to make it up for each other, that's very important. But as a head coach, like, I work with what we have, um, and that's just as simple as it gets. So I don't think I should be looking for any excuses. I'm, I'm at least 90% of the issue today, just making sure that next time we do a better job from a staff perspective, uh, protecting the players as well against those results. Because in the end, like I'm suffering for, from a 4-1, but there is a whole training, there is a whole locker room suffering from that now. So we just have to make sure that we do the right stuff next season. And like I said, I think the players showed up today. Uh, second half was way better looking at just the situation we're in. And like I said, we did two subs. Those were the two subs we were able to do today. We did them. And then it's up to the players on the pitch to just keep on going. And that's what they did until the very last minute, I think. Being very frustrated if a goalkeeper of the opponent takes 20 seconds too much after being 4-1 down, that's a good mentality. That's showing the crowd, showing the people that you don't want to stick to these situations and you do want to improve yourself. I saw a lot of players being frustrated with throw-ins and players taking their time being 4-1 uh, down. I think that's just something very good. Um, I think we could have turned it as well. And I saw Mandy having quick restarts. We could have told Mandy just to slow down and just to make sure we didn't take a, five, a fifth one. But we wanted to keep on going, and that's also a mentality point of view.